Hey guys, it's April. This is your annual uh, Patreon supporter file. Now I did a small one. I have both in the file, but I'm just gonna say this one is a little tedious and difficult to work with because it's so tiny, but you can do it, okay? And it just lifts off and it will hold a gift card. Let's see, I have a, a Walmart one here. But you can see it'll hold that and some candies or whatever you may wanna put in there, okay? So that one is in the file, but then I've also done a larger one for a t-shirt or something like that, uh, or a larger gift. Now, this has been out for years. I want to say, um, I, I researched it. I think Lori Whitlock was the first one out with it. Um, and my file is very similar to that, but I've added some pieces because um, I don't like my brads to show and things like that. So I kind of modified it to um, work for me. But the base, you're just going to fold. And it's just a basic box base bottom. That's all there is to it. And this is very similar. I think I've got an old treasure box uh, file. And it's very, the lid is very similar to that. If you have that old file, it's been around for years too. So you're just gonna fold up the bottom just like so. And we're gonna glue the four tabs. And you'll want to keep those nice and flush on the corners. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. It does dry matte and clear. Now I am working with the red, so you may see some darkened areas where the glue gets on it. Once it's thoroughly dry, those go away. So don't panic if you see those and you're using red. You can use any color you want. You can use blue, you can use gray, you can use black, whatever you feel like using. Okay, and now we're gonna do this other side. Oops, got some glue on the, just gonna go ahead and glue both of those tabs. Some glue on the outside there. Try not to be as messy as I am with it. And then you can just set that aside to dry. And you can see if you fold up a t-shirt nicely, it's going to fit in there. And you'll have a little bit of room at the top as well. So you can roll up a t-shirt, it should fit. We're gonna, just going to let that dry. Now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and fold the base, but I am going to do my brads. I did not do that with this one and I, I felt maybe doing the brads first would help, but we're just gonna fold all four of these scores. Now I did use all basic shapes to create this file, so it shouldn't cost you anything. There's no access images or anything like that in it. Strictly just a straight file. And then we're going to fold on this score. And then we're going to open that back up. We're going to fold on this score. Now, this is the max size unless you have 12 by 24 paper uh, and a mat. If you have 12 by 24, you can rotate it and make it longer, of course, so that you can... Just make sure you size all the pieces together if you choose to do that. And then um, I made the other one. I wouldn't go any smaller than what I've got in the file on this one because this was extremely tedious, especially with all those little breads. Now, if you don't have bread, you can glue those for sure and then just use some pearl drops or Nuvo drops in place uh, to make it look like you used breads. That would be cute too. So now we have our lid, but before we go any further, we're gonna work on these pieces. Now on mine, I scored that, and that score's in the wrong place, so don't pay attention to it. You really don't need a score there. Um, I saw that they had one um, that they, where they folded it in their file, so I put a score there, but you don't need it, really. Um, I'm just gonna take those that tail, and I'm just gonna curl it on both sides, okay? That's it. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of curl in the center. 
and it'll it'll flatten back out. Don't worry about that. And you have two of these, all right. And all I did is just do some tape runner over the top of it, and then line up a hole because your brads are going to hold it once you get those on there. So just kind of line up the hole and press that down into place, like so, just like that for this handle. And then we've got two pieces like this. Punch out my holes here. And I'm just gonna take one, and I am using, I use teeny, teeny, tiny breads, and I get these at Michael's back in Tim Holtz section. Um, this is what I used for the small one, but I'm gonna use this size in silver, I think, for this one, okay? So that you guys can see them. And I'm just gonna take one of these and I'm going to put my brad through it and I'm going to place it in that second hole. And, oops. Wanna flip it over and open that brad. And that's why I say it's easier to do this with, before you glue your lid together, but you can do it either way you want. And you notice that hole doesn't line up and that's the way it's supposed to be. I should have curled this first. Just a little bit of curl. Because that's gonna be raised up a little bit and pushed back so that you get that little up on there when we do the second brad, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna take the second one Poke my hole out again. And I'm going to grab another brad. And again, I'm going to do the inside hole right here. Flip it over. And then I'm going to open up that brad. Just like that. Okay. And again, I forgot to curl it. That's okay. Just put a little bit of curve in it. That's all it needs. All right. Now we're going to come back to this piece. And again, ignore the score line. I've removed it from the file. You're going to place one of these on, and you're going to bring that up to that hole. And you can see that my score was off just a little bit on there, and that's why I'm just going to remove it. I don't need it. And I'm going to grab another brad, and we're going to go through the handle piece here and out. Just like that. Then we're going to repeat it on the other side. Make sure you put your piece on there. And grab a brad. Oops. I'm all fumbly fingered with it. Let's see if I can. Just gonna open that one up. Just like so, okay? So now you have your handle and it should have a little bit of a curve to it and you have your little loop pieces. Now I cut another black piece that has no holes in it and this I did glue in the center and on the ends, I just glued the whole thing but it may not stick right there where those brads are at, but it's basically just to finish that off and cover it. You may have to hold it for a second where the brads are at, but it's just to hide them because I don't like them exposed. I don't like the brad tails exposed. Okay, so now we have our handle and we're going to slip it right over each end and you can do one end at a time. You don't have to do both at the same time. And then we're just gonna take another brad. I'm trying to fish out a silver one here. We're gonna go. This is where I find my tweezers to hold it. Works best for me. Because I'm fishing to find that hole. If you got your finger down up under there, you can feel it. You can see, there we go. 
And then I'm just gonna pinch it on the other side, flip it over, and then we're gonna open that one. Okay. Bring this one in. And we're gonna fish for that hole. Can't seem to grab it now. There we go. Doesn't want to get in there for me. That's why I said this one is much easier than, there we go, than the small one. Well, I pulled it right out, didn't I? There we go. And we got it. Super easy, super, super easy with the big one. The other one I caught. And that's gonna give you your little lift on your handle, okay? You can see that. And again, you can glue those ends and pull these up so that they work. And then you can just use some drops where it looks like you put brads. So we're gonna flip this over and then you have a red piece and again, I don't like my brad showing, especially when they pull that lid off. So I'm going to place this piece right down that center. And I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to bend up my handle. I can stick my finger under it and give it a rub. stuck in the middle and then on the ends and it'll be fine. All right. Now we're going to put glue on this tab. Don't worry about your bottom tab yet. You can fold it out of the way. And on this tab. And then we're just going to fold it and keep that edge straight. I don't want to. I do you want those tabs to the inside before you you can just fold them back out of the way. I folded them the wrong way. There we go. I'm gonna give that a second to grab and I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing to this side. Almost like a barn. If you've ever done one of those 3D barn things, it's almost like the barn lid. Glue this side down. Keep it good and flush, making those corners or angles. Then you're gonna come back and do the second tab. And that's because it's going to actually glue over on the inside, it's gonna glue over the other tab. Okay. Keep it good and square. You don't want it to be inward on that box. You want it good and flush, okay? And the other side. Hold it for a second while it dries. Give it a pinch. 
and I just kind of push in the sides if they're bowed a little bit from working on it. And then we're just gonna let that dry and we're gonna work on this piece. And that's why I have this tail on here because I didn't wanna glue a red piece to the back of this and have a piece hanging up in there. I decided to just add it onto that tab so that we could just take this piece and do it this way. And you can put your breads to the inside of this or you can run them all the way through. And I found on that one, I did not do that and it bulked up. So you really don't need the holes in that black piece. It's just so you know where it goes. But I'm gonna put a bread right through there. And I'm gonna open that up. Sometimes I fumble with those, there we go. So now I'm just gonna glue this right to the center of this. And again, if you wanna run your bread all the way through and do it that way, you can. It's gonna take a second for it to stick. Line it up. And then you don't have any bread showing on this side, but again, if you do run them through, they're still gonna be hidden here. So either way you wanna do it. I just found it was easier to glue this piece flat to the box lid. And it goes on flush right there at the bottom. And it will line up just like you need it. Hold it. And we're done. Super simple, super easy. And again, I'm just gonna place it right on the box. How cool is that? And like I said, you've got plenty of height there. You can roll up a t-shirt. You can get a t-shirt in there very easily. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you need any help or have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I will catch you on the next video. Enjoy your annual supporter file. I do have one more annual supporter file coming for you guys on June the 30th, and that will round out your annual supporter only files for June. You guys have a great one. See you later. Mm -hmm.